right. It's not easy being green. So, where I'm at tonight is I got Battlefield 3 going on. Or, I'm sorry, Battlefield 3. Battlefield 5. And I got an airplane. <laughs> I've been playing a couple rounds. I actually loaded it up last night. And it got done installing about 11. I said, okay, let me just play one quick round. And after that, I'm going to go to bed. I got to tell you, I got so sucked into it. I went and got myself a drink because I was thirsty. And looked at the clock and it was 1 a.m. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah. I got four hours of sleep last night. Four hours of sleep the night before. And I'm so tired. <laughs> But I'm really, really enjoying this machine. Um, getting sucked into a game to the point where oh, I gotta keep turning here, or else I'm gonna, or else it's gonna get mad at me for going off the map. I got so sucked into this, to back into gaming that <laughs> I lost track of time. That hasn't happened. I can't remember the last time it's happened where I've been so, you know, just wrapped up in the game that I. Uh, you know, that I lose track of time. Um, but let's get to the details. And right now, we're running at 67 degrees on a GPU. And we're maxing out at 120 frames a second. And this is with ray tracing on. So, oh boy. Basically, the bottom line is I get 120 hertz on the monitor. And that's pretty much what the frame rate stays. Very seldom does it dip below that. It does, though, at times, just by five frames, ten frames, maybe. So I would say this game performs better than Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, the GPU is actually like five degrees cooler. Right now, we're at 67, 68 degrees, somewhere in that range. My teammates are probably like, that guy is in a plane, we really need this plane, and he's just sitting there doing nothing but flying around. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I wish I had a joystick, I'd probably be a lot better. I was never good in the planes, and if I had a joystick, even just like a $50 one or something, I'd probably do a lot better, be easier to control. Uh, so, as you can see, Otherwise, other than that, I got the green going tonight. I really like the green. It, it's kind of like a, it doesn't really quite show up. That almost looks blue, but it's green. And it's sort of like a neon green almost. It's not like a dark green at all. Hmm. This is the best way for me to show you guys the graphics of the game. Because if I'm just an infantry soldier, man, I, it's hard to just look around without getting killed. Oh, that's kind of cool. Do like a little strafe here. I can't remember what it is to hit a bomb. I think you press two. It's been so long since I played this game. No, it's three, two, four. Okay, it's four. Oh, someone's shooting at me. Ah, uh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, cool. I, I forgot this stupid makes a siren if you start to go in a dive bomb. Oh, we're going to crash. Okay. Boom. <laughs> anyway. Maybe I can try and uh, find a spot where there's not a lot of action and we can just sort of look around. B. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's be risky and go where there is some action and look around. And you can see the frames are... Oh, I just died. They dipped a little bit there, but more, most of the time they're at 120, maxed out. Right now it's 120, okay. I gotta tell you, I'm loving this monitor too. And when I say that, you get the little green effect here. We're gonna go to the back. You don't really see the back. But you do see, like, sort of like the glow on the wall, which is kind of cool. Wait a minute. Also, I'll show you the alien head back there. There's also that. Sorry. Okay. There it is.
All right. And then there's this little light. A lot of people have been saying, you're only getting 120 frames a second, and that's not very good. And my answer is this. Um, I'm running this, these games at 1440p, which is a high resolution, and uh, at 120 hertz, which is kind of high for 1440p, but because this is a 34-inch ultra-wide monitor, what you got to keep in mind is it's almost like running maybe a 27-inch 4K display. So it, <laughs> I can't remember exactly what the technical specification was, but I think it's 5 million frames every 1 60th of a second that, that that 3080 has to churn out. And it does it. And it is just a tremendous experience. I feel like this monitor helps me in first-person shooters. And what I mean by that is when you get the right distance from it to where your face is, I, I can't remember, 18 inches away. I, I don't really measure. I just sort of go by feel. You're looking at the center of the screen. When I when I first was looking at this monitor, I was like, you know what? It's 32 inches. It's really wide. You're, I'm never going to look at the whole screen, you know? Basically, you're looking at the middle of the screen and on the sides, your peripheral vision, you, you can see the sides in your peripheral vision and you can notice and detect movement. And so you'll be playing a first person shooter, you'll detect movement out of the left side and you'll immediately center the screen on that movement, you know, draw the, uh, the crosshairs in on that, uh, on that enemy and then drill down with, with your gun or a weapon or whatever you got. So I, I can say that that really, really has helped me um, be a better player in first-person shooters, just uh, the extra wide view. Other than that, people keep asking me to do screen captures, and they, they say, well, you can use NVIDIA, you can use OBS, and all these different softwares, and all I can really say is I don't think I'm going to do that. And the reason why is I don't think I'm going to keep making these YouTube videos. <laughs> I think... I'm the first, I think I'm the first one with an Alien Aurora R11-3080. And, uh, well, at least the first one to post videos. No one else was doing it. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to make some videos because there's probably people sitting at home wondering what kind of frames am I going to get or what kind of experience am I going to get with this if I, if I plop down the money. And all I can say is <laughs> you're going to get a fantastic experience. This is great. We're on day three now. Um, other than not getting much sleep because I've, that's another thing. I was worried, like, oh, wait, I'm going to buy this machine and this setup. And uh, what if I just... I really haven't been gaming that much lately. I, I'm thinking, you know, gaming, it, yeah, it's good in small doses. I don't really do it that much. And, so, well, you know, we're three days into it, but it has completely rekindled my love of PC gaming. I'm getting lost in the games. Time is... I'm losing track of time. Yeah, it is just great. <laughs> So I hope I'm helping people make a good decision. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's really all I can say is uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about, oh, you know, I just ordered my Alienware Aurora. You know, thanks for the video. It's really helped me. And, and uh, I love those comments. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to end this video and... Probably brush my teeth and go to bed because I, I need to get a full night's sleep here tonight. I think it's like 11 o'clock. All right, people. Maybe tomorrow we'll do PUBG, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and see how that works. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good night.